Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. In this episode, I'd like to talk about predictive analytics. And more specifically, I'd like to discuss about why predictive analytics is not as widespread as it should be. So first of all, what do I mean by the term predictive analytics? So predictive analytics is more of a buzzword, really. It doesn't refer to some kind of scientific field. But what it really means is using data science in order to predict things about the future. So for example, if you are interested in forecasting, if you're interested in predicting demand or sales around the product or service for the next month or weeks or whatever, then you could say that, yes, you are interested in predictive analytics. Or likewise, if you are interested in, for example, predictive maintenance, that is predicting whether a machine in a factory is going to break down before it breaks down, then this is another form of predictive analytics. Or in healthcare, predicting the risk of someone being diagnosed with a particular disease or disorder, well, that's another example of predictive analytics. And so some of those use cases, or probably all of them, they sound pretty exciting, right? So we're talking about making predictions about the future. So why isn't this type of technology more widespread? I mean, probably you hear it quite a lot, so you know it's out there, but from many conversations I've had with managers, with CEOs, with executives, there are certain industries that are making heavy use of predictive analytics, like finance and other industries, they're still quite conservative about the potential of algorithms for prediction. And why is that? And my opinion is that this really comes down to the culture that the different verticals have. So the culture in finance or retail might be very different to the culture in sports, for example. And this translates in different attitudes towards risk and towards technology. So in areas where you know, the people in those areas are used to working with the latest technologies or they're used to working with mathematical algorithms, usually you find that they're more open to any kind of suggestion around, you know, to try out things around machine learning or AI, etc. Whereas other industries are more driven by tradition. Surprisingly, there are many industries that are data heavy, but uh, you still find this sort of resistance. So, for example, I've talked to many people in marketing and what I noticed is that while many marketeers, they're very open to using data science or even predictive analytics in this case, many others, they're not really interested. And it's the same with some other industries like oil and gas or shipping. Shipping, for example, as well as oil and gas or pretty much any industry where heavy equipment is an important component of the business, can greatly benefit from predictive maintenance. However, this is still the adoption of those technologies, is still at its early stages. So in the end, the point I'm trying to make is that we have technologies which can potentially transform industries. In this case, we're talking about less downtime, yeah, when we're talking about predictive maintenance, or we're talking about more sales, if we're talking about predictive analytics in retail. In any case, we're talking about greater efficiency and profits. But we see many industries shying away from that simply because they feel they're not ready yet. And again, I believe that the only way to solve this is through education. 
and by us, I mean us data scientists, we need to be able to demonstrate the benefits of these technologies and make it easier for other parties to really understand what are the benefits involved as well as the risks. Yeah, I mean, because let's face it, data science and not just data science, any kind of new technology that is being deployed might have some associated risks. I would argue that data science is one of those types of technologies where in most cases there's not so much real risk other than the opportunity cost for an organization because an organization might have had decided to spend resources in some other way. Obviously, there are exceptions to this rule. If you're planning to deploy machine learning classification model for diagnosing diseases, then obviously there's the risk of misclassifying someone. So that's something. But overall, I'd say that most machine learning algorithms, most use cases in data science, you know, there are not really any big risks. But then again, that's very use case specific. So in any way, uh, going back to the beginning of what I started to talk about, predictive analytics describes a particular type of application in data science. And the reason that we're not seeing predictive analytics everywhere as we should, we should be seeing it everywhere because of its transformative potential, the reason is cultural change. But I believe we're getting there. The industries are getting there, but also so societies at large they're getting more comfortable with the idea of prediction. Obviously, you know, how predictive analytics deployed at scale is going to affect society or the economy. Well, that's a topic for another podcast. So thank you for being here with me. If you want to learn more about predictive analytics, make sure to visit my blog, thedatascientist.com. In this short session, I just wanted to raise awareness of the topic and also of the fact that Many industries are experiencing resistance to change. However, if you are interested in this topic and if you believe, like I do, that predictive analytics is eventually going to be adopted by all industries, feel free to reach out to me, to drop me a message. I'm very happy to have a conversation and answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.